E aí, gente? If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Eu te amo. Today, I'll be reacting to My Hero Academia episodes 5 and 6. And if you haven't watched my reactions to episodes 1 through 4, I highly recommend that you do because I don't only react, I also do commentary. So certain predictions and thoughts and ideas about the overall plot and certain characters may come across as surprising or out of place if you don't know where I'm coming from. I'll be leaving the link to the videos here, but it's up to you if you want to watch them or not. If you've watched my previous video, it's quite clear that it is the same day. I'm just too curious to see what's going to happen now that Izuku is going to explore his quirk and how the culture in UA is going to be. Plus, I'm excited to see Izuku making some friends. I'm pretty sure he's going to be friends with Uraraka, so we'll see. Let's get into episode 5, shall we? Oh, wow. <laughs> I already like how they're doing the juxtaposition between Katsuki's fighting style and purpose. Let's say like that, and Izuku's purpose. <laughs> Repeat after me. <laughs> I can get over how All Might keeps coughing up blood. ありがとうございます。一応言っとくが、学校側に君との接点は話してなかったぞ。だからこっちへ来てたんですね。だって、オールマイトの事務所は東京と港区六本木。やめなさい。そっか。本当は生徒の中から選ぶ予定だったんだ
君はヒーローになれるってだから僕は行くんだ店ってどんな人なんだろうね<笑>緊張するよねお友達を起こしたいのなら遅いけムーッはい静かになるまで8秒かかりました時間は有限君たちは合理性に革命でも見たことないぞこんなくたびれた人ヤでよろしくね担任入学式は階段すわヒーローになるならそんな悠長な行事出る時間ないよ<笑>今日の怠慢だな I like her look. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks like an alien. Who is she? Oh, hero in our time of San Nanka. So, no harazomor de Snowski de Rinokai. As she mock total says, excited no more. みこみなしと判断し女性処分としよう。ようこそ。これが遊泳高校ヒーロー科だ。入学初日の大使だ。だけタイガーズクレイジー。どうする僕。アクで談笑したかったなら終わいに行く。これから3年間遊泳は全力
It's cute that he's checking on him. <laughs> what the hell? That was so fast. That's crazy. Occasionally, I was looking down because I was taking some notes so I don't forget things that I thought was interesting and that might come to play later in the story. Um, but I was paying attention, don't worry. If anything, I will always go back and check things that I don't feel solid in um, after the reaction or in, in between everything. So don't worry. <laughs> So first of all, Katsuki had no growth. <laughs> I speculated that he has like some surface level growth in the last episodes, but it's just... Nope. He was just being callous, I suppose, like trying to see what is going on with Izuku and how he got to where he is compared to before when he wasn't as confident he had the drive, but not the confidence, let's say like that. Probably noticed the shift in his body as well, since he's been working out. So I think it was just him being calculating. Already see some tension between Katsuki and people like Ida. I think that's his name. Tanya. When he said, oh, like with an attitude like that, you think you're going to be a hero. But I, the way... The way that I laughed and I was kind of like pissed is that like, who are you to say anything? Okay. He may be an asshole. Like, obviously, how are you going to be a hero when you're an asshole like that? Granted. However, <laughs> he did exactly what I uh, said would make me continue to hate him, or at least not like him, that he was worried about the points in the activity and like, oh, catching on to what they actually meant to get um enough points to pass like it's not about that it's not always about the academic i guess that's what's like getting me about him he always like thinks about the academic perspective and never thinks about well what it means to be a hero helping others the drive and the foundation of the academic which then will translate into the application which is fighting battles and shit <laughs> i just don't like he's not one to talk let's say like that both of them got their issues and it's just the righteousness overtly righteousness getting to me but i thought it was interesting that it got to the point of putting people calling katsuki out so i wonder if other classmates will do the same and for once like it will be Katsuki who will be the outcast and not Izuku. Not that he is an outcast yet, I guess. As people slowly see his um, approach to being a hero, I wonder if they're going to be like Ida and say like, how can you be a hero? So it'll be interesting to see the dynamics of the class and how it's going to play out. I liked how it showed Izuku being traumatized of using the one for all, uh, how it definitely stuck with him, the way that his body was broken and his limitations. So I appreciate that they are addressing that and not just um, glossing it over as if it's, oh, it's a hero's duty or whatever. It's like, yeah, but it's going to leave some scars. I'm liking the subtle introduction to a rivalry between Katsuki and Izuku. For a second, I thought that maybe it would be like a mirrored in All Might and Eraserhead. But I don't know. Like, I don't know if that's going to be the case because while All Might is a parallel to Izuku in many ways... The only thing that I see Eraserhead being parallel to Katsuki is how unhinged he can be. I think both of them got that crazy energy in their eyes. <laughs> I thought it was also very interesting, the concept of an underground hero. And I wonder if it borders with being a vigilante or not. Or if it's kind of like anti-hero that's not necessarily um that i'm saving people and i'm gonna go out of my way to do all of these things but i don't know 
or maybe it's more like an economic thing i remember that like if you're renowned then you get paid by the government and then if there are agencies then it's kind of like applying for a job and if it's underground i guess maybe it's like not being tied to any agency or the government like you have your own model and your own philosophy that can't really align with anybody other than yourself i'm also looking forward to a possible um conflict or tension or even rivalry between all might and aizawa since what it means to be a hero is different for both of them and that is bound to reflect in their teaching methods with izuku so how that's going to marinate in his little head his impressionable head how he's going to choose between what all might says it's right and what aizawa says it's right or if it gets to a point that he just has to construct his own and how he's going to do that and when i say construct his own i mean his own meaning to what a hero is or his own approach to how he deals with his body how he deals with his quirk and so on and so forth. Let's move on to episode 6, shall we? Exactly. ん、<笑><笑> You're getting too unhinged. I'm scared. Saikoi <laughs> 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 You just got this quirk. They had the quirk for so long. オールマイトさん、見てたんですね。君は去年の君も<笑> <笑><笑><笑> Yes, that's what I wanted for you. Bro. Let him have a win. <laughs> okay. I love that teacher. Oh, He's so extra for no reason. 
単位数も最も多いぞ早速だが入学前に送ってもらった個性届と要望に沿ってあつらえたコスチューム If he had a suit or something he could do it I I'm sorry <laughs> you could have had a suit this whole time My hero You need to tell your mom. Oh. で言えば屋内の方が凶悪ヴィラン出現率は高いんだ監禁軟禁裏商売この<笑><笑> I'm concerned for your safety. Villain team is in the setting. Do you want to go to the is this gonna Ooh. Are they gonna Ooh, are they gonna make him like fit way too well in the villain? <笑><笑>いや、嫌なやつだけど目標も自信も体力も個性も僕なんかより何倍もすごいんだ <laughs> I love her. That would actually be cool if he was like more so a stealth hero than a upfront hero. Because he is great at gathering information, he can minimize damage and. If you're a rogue at video games, you know what I'm saying. Exactly. And that song is so good every time. He knows you better than everybody, bruh. He knows all his moves. Exactly. What is going on with this kid? 
そういうとこがムカつくな What? Damn it! Let me already start with、um, what I'm about to say because I feel like it was the focal point of the last episodes. I'm liking how it's exploring the layers of the relationship between Izuku and Katsuki and how they will tease us with like glimpses of either moments that show Izuku's growth and his confidence and His capabilities and reaffirming his dream to Katsuki,、um, showing us the possibility that they actually had like a genuine friendship and not giving us the full scope of what exactly prompted him to just start bullying Izuku because his demeanor when he was a kid, he's shown. As a baby, two times. He's shown the first time when he's bullying Deku already. So we already see that malicious intent, right? You see that I truly want to hurt you. But in that last flashback in episode six, I don't know, it felt more genuine and it felt more banter. With your friend rather than the way that he acts now, of、oh, I'm better than you. I guess what's interesting to me and what's like getting me about all of this when it comes to Katsuki's Izuku is that there has to be some level of likeness or care or even love in the past for it to shift into this intense hatred. And intense resentment that he holds for Izuku, and the way that he's reacting as if it's a betrayal that Izuku has a quirk. It's so intense that, like, if you did not care for this person at a level, okay, even in the past, why are you reacting like this? I don't know. Like, there's this level of obsession, okay? And Katsuki's is more obvious because he's going out of his way to go after Izuku. Like, the bully's perspective is you have to look at me. Please, for the love of God, look at me when I'm doing this shit to you. Otherwise, it's just humiliating, right? When the person doesn't give a fuck, it's just humiliating. The thing is, I'm wondering if the betrayal is Katsuki thought that. Izuku like, admired him. And I do think that he admired him when they were kids. But the thing is, Izuku's admiration is mirrored for every hero, right? And like he said, every person that I see that has the potential to become a great hero. So, like, you're not the only one, Katsuki. I feel like that might have been the breaking point for him. Like, I'm not special. You're not looking at me. He has that energy about him. Everything is look at me, look how amazing I am, look at how、uh, powerful my quirk is. So he, he either, like, that's why at some point I said, like, I want to know what's going on in your house because he's either like a rich kid. That had too much attention growing up and had parents that kind of raised him to be kind of delusional, let's say, about being the greatest. Or his parents are like, they don't know him at all and are possibly abusive. Because that's the only way I see, like, for people to. Turn out to be bullies like Katsuki. You're either like, you either have everything. And the minute that you don't, whether it be physically or mentally, which for him, when it comes to Izuku, is mentally, he doesn't have the drive to be a hero and it doesn't come naturally to him to be a hero. So you either have everything and you get mad at anybody that has a 1% of what you got, or you go through something. With your parents or legal guardians or whoever is、um, in charge of the nurturing 
aspect of your life. Did any of that make sense? I really hope it did. I'm sorry. I'm like ranting like a lunatic, but I'm just... I want to know what's going on. I want to know what's up with this kid, okay? Like, why are you so unhinged and insane? Like, it's starting to concern me. I think it's obsession precisely because you're concerning me. You cannot take your eyes away from this kid, okay? For a second, you cannot take your eyes away from Izuku. And the part... Um, in episode five, I think that I, I I said I'm concerned. Like you're scaring me. It's he has a, a vibe and an energy that I feel like he's gonna act on it and it's not gonna be pretty. And I feel like if he has the same dream as Izuku of being the greatest hero, the fact that he is willing to possibly sacrifice that. Because I don't feel like he takes it as seriously as Izuku does. In the sense that you are in UA. You don't take it seriously enough that you're not even scared you're going to get expelled for trying to attack him. You prioritized Izuku in attacking him. Then following your dream. I think there's also a part that Ida even points out how Katsuki focuses so much on Izuku when they are protecting the fake bomb. And I'm watching the scene right now, especially angry when it comes to Midoriya. It's so obvious, it's so obvious that people around are going to start to notice. If there's somebody outside of their relationship pointing out the focus that he has on Izuku, then yeah, then it's extreme. It sounds like obsession to me. I'm probably wrong, okay? Maybe he really is just like envious of how Izuku uh, being a hero comes naturally to him and his tenacity and just unwillingness to give up maybe is annoying for somebody that wants to bring you down like that's undeniably what it is maybe it's not as deep as i'm trying to make it seem like it is let's say it like that i'm enjoying the little pieces that they give here and there of uh katsuki fitting the role of a villain more so than the role of a hero and going as far as being acknowledged by um somebody other than Izuku like somebody other than someone who grew up with him like Ida when he says you know to really care about being a hero or I am very curious about Aizawa's method of teaching compared to All Might. And like I said, I really hope that they do have like some form of competition or something that they will try to make Izuku follow their ways. And then Izuku will be kind of like conflicted about should I follow All Might, which is the greatest hero and the man that I admire and gave me my power or should I follow Aizawa because I have to follow the curriculum of UA so I feel like that like there's also room for some conflict there between them and I'm wondering if there's more to Aizawa's apparent distrust I think or just not like he doesn't vibe with All Might Maybe it's just like we're not on the same wavelength. You know, you deal with being a hero a certain way and I deal with this way. But I I wonder if there's more. I don't know. Just the way that he reacted. I'm wondering if like because of his quirk, he can kind of sense, um, let's say, the soul or whatever of the quirk. If that makes sense, like, because if one for all is passed down, it's a different 
type of power than quirks than you are born with, right? So I wonder if because he can see the makeup of the quirk, it's almost like this unnatural thing, you know? The whole situation with Izuku is supposedly unnatural, right? But I am i don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into his anger at Izuku in that moment. Maybe he's just unhinged for real. <laughs> um, but it got me thinking that perhaps he knows that, hey, that's not like a quirk you're born with. And he's probably keeping to himself. And if he already knows all night, then possibly a history there of knowing that the greatest hero was not born with that quirk. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Katsuki. Maybe it's not that deep, okay? Maybe he's just a little shit. I don't know what's going on with Aizawa. Maybe he's not as mysterious as I'm making him to be. The same with All Might. And maybe I'm just speculating over something that does not need to be speculated. But I'm having fun <laughs> trying to find out what might happen next. I'm really happy that Midoriya is finally getting some friends who actually care about him. And I'm happy that he's going to have a very caring friend in Uraraka. And his crush for her is adorable. <laughs> so it's uh, very funny the certain moments that he can't look at her in the eye when they're talking. It's cute. E é isso aí, gente. I'm sorry if the commentary was too jumbled. I'm just trying to understand this kid. I don't know why he's angry like a chihuahua and unhinged like a snapper turtle. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know what's going on with him. Why is he so mad at Izuku? I don't know. I don't know. It's driving me crazy and that's what makes it so good. Also, please let me know in the comments what were your thoughts and your feelings when you were watching My Hero Academia for the first time. Or if you are watching it along with me and how you are currently feeling with the whole character dynamics and the plot. I should be taking notes from Izuku to keep a consistent schedule. <laughs> I'm trying my best to post the reactions every Sunday, so see you next week for episodes 7 and 8.